All right, so first I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the equipment that I have here and some of the equipment that you might want to have available if you're doing experimentation with chemistry, physics, and specifically electronic projects like this. Um, first off, on the electrical side of things, I have um, these guys right here, which are my all-purpose tools, alligator clips. You can buy them at any electronics store for about a dollar for ten of them. They're really cheap and they allow me to make all the connections I need to. Here I'm connecting them up to a battery and I can connect them up to pennies and I can connect them up to my circuitry. Here right now I have a circuit laid out on a breadboard. A breadboard allows me to put different elements like this resistor and a chip and a capacitor all down without soldering anything. Minimal work involved and maximum output. Then I have my multimeter. This one's a bit fancier than most, but you can find these for about $10. They measure basic properties of uh, electricity, such as voltage and uh, resistance, capacitance, all kinds of things. So that's telling me I've got 2.51 volts on my battery right now. Also, we've got our chemicals, which today are going to be kind of mundane. We've got a potato, we've got a lemon, we've got jello, we've got a glass of water, and then we've got some acid. And what I'm using right now is um, a dilute solution of hydrochloric acid, but you could also use lemon juice, you could use vinegar uh, if, you, uh, if you so please. It'd probably be a little bit safer for this experiment too, but. I'm going to show it off with the hydrogen, um, hydrogen chloride here, this HCl acid. Go for the strong stuff so we can see what it, see what it looks like. Um, you'll also just need basic kitchen utensils like matches. And here I have a knife. And then finally I brought a pair of battery powered speakers because we're going to make some sound today. And I wanted to hook these up to show you what jello and lemons and potatoes might sound like as circuits.